So yeah, I chose Bisek instead of Pacho. And there are a couple of reasons first why I chose him. We'd be reviewing this card. Unfortunately, we cannot review the evolved Pacho, <clears throat> but Bisek, originally 86 with FS glow up Evo, he becomes 88 with its center pack and his stats look absolutely crazy. But there are a couple of reasons why I chose him over Pacho. To begin with, he's lengthy. He's purely lengthy. So you can put a shadow on him that makes his pace to be uh, acceleration to be 94 and sprint speed to be um, 93, which is incredible for a pure lengthy player. That's one. Next, he's 6'5. 6'5 center back with that pace is absolutely nuts. With Pacho, <clears throat> to make him mostly lengthy, you gotta use an anchor on him, which makes his pace to be around 91, acceleration 96, string speed, which in itself is very good as well, but it's still mostly lengthy. And then he's 6'1, not 6'5. So definitely that presence is very noticeable in game. I don't know about these cards, but in general, they're very noticeable. The next is dribbling. So inside dribbling, if you see the reactions and composure, this guy has both of them to be 90. I do not remember what Pachos was, but I think it is around 80, 83 and composure is around 86 or something. Basically, it's good, but not as good as Bisex, right? And then, of course, the jumping strength, heading accuracy is another reason because I know Pacho's heading accuracy was not as good as um, Bisex heading accuracy. So that is that. Then this guy has um, 99 short passing, 90 long passing, which again is amazing for center backs. We'll see how that turns out. Couple of concerns that I have. One is um, his work rate is high, high. That might be a little bit problematic. We'll see if he moves a lot of times out of positions. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he, his his playing animations make up for it. Maybe he runs back and chases very fast and makes up for it. So we'll see. But when you talk about play styles, uh, you know, there's nothing, there's, there's not like a play style that is, you know, very helpful in terms of defending uh, <clears throat> because this guy just has block play style in terms of defending. I know for sure that Pacho has intercept, but then again, none of them have anti spit, which makes, which basically was another reason I took Bisek, right? Um, Pink pass uh, is definitely a base play side plus. So again, uh, if you if you do cross field balls, through balls over the head, that might be very helpful. And he also has long ball long ball pass along with that. So definitely we're gonna try him even with a three star weak foot. I think that should come out really well. And then he's aerial plus and six five height. So definitely this would be very helpful. Maybe in corners we do not, as you know, I, I do not score a lot from corners, but at least to the others. Um, but in terms of pure defending, he might be uh, using this and be, it, this might prove to be very helpful. So with that, let's get into the game. Uh, let's review his card. Let's see how 88 Bisex perform in game. Again, we'll also be comparing him with the likes of Maldini, of course. Uh, I was using Gertruida initially at center back, then I turned him to be at CDM. But Gertruida uh, was amazing as well. So we'll see how it performs. Uh, currently, my center back was Saliba. Uh, and Saliba, you know, this Evo Saliba too, he was fantastic because of play styles he had, uh, you know, Jockey Plus, Intercept and Andy Spade um, and, you know, very high pace as well. He was pure lengthy too, uh, you know, uh, 80, probably 88 acceleration with that, with very high sprint speed and, you know, good strengths, jumping. But again, if you look at um, um, Bisex stats, it's, it's absolutely out of the world. They're just too good to be true. Right, so let's see how he performs in game. Yeah, for a center back, his dribbling looks pretty good. Okay, not bad. I tried that. I tried playing that long ball. No way. Couldn't win that header. With 99 heading uh, accuracy and uh, I guess 99 jumping too. 
That's a letdown right there. Good pace there. Nicely taking it away from Eusebio. Beautiful tackle again, man. It's sick. Good ball, too. Pisek, good goal. I try using the corner this time. Very good height, 99 heading, 99 jumping. Produced a good goal for us. What a ball, Pisek. Beautiful cross ball. No way we missed that. Come on. Yeah, that was all Pisek's work there, creating that chance for us. Pisek. Oh, pretty good in corners, man. You could see that. We almost had another goal. Nicely done, Bisek. Right, I do not, I'm not finding an option there. Hey, good dribbling there. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, gets us a corner. Beautiful tackle. Long legs. I probably missed Mbappe there because of his pace, but those, but those long legs provided beautifully. Nice. Got the interception there. Very quick to come there. Beautiful tackle again. Yeah, not of like his dribbling is good for a center back, but yeah, you cannot kind of like keep dribbling from him, right? And kind of go forward. That's not what he'll be able to do. Bissek! Oh, hits the post again. This guy is pretty good in the air, man. That aerial ability, uh, aerial play style came into uh, play again there. One thing I have noted is his jockeying. His jogging is sometimes a little bit troubling, to be frank. Yeah, I couldn't get to, like, the thing with him is that it, because he's pure lengthy, kind of takes that initial, t little bit of initial time to kind of reach the ball, but other than that, he's pretty fast. Nice, nice pace, man. Easily blocking the path in front of him. Oh, could have been the tackle there. All right, Bissek, easily done. Very nice. So, yeah, I mean, if he is in front of you, like in front of the attacker, there's no way getting the ball from him. Nice inception there, but he lost the ball. Okay, that was a foul. Good inception though. All right, Pisek. Again, very dominant in the air, man. Pisek again, and again another save, man. Beautiful tackle, man. What a tackle that was. Nice switch too. Nice Bissak stopping Mbappe there, man. What a guy. Yeah, very strong in tackle. Couldn't retain the ball there, unfortunate. But again, uh, good positioning, good tackling. What a tackle, man. That was Mandel defending. I anticipated that shot and came came there, but still, man, what a block. Nice inception. Very quick to come up in front of Mbappe there. Okay, so here. 
Yeah, pretty difficult to get past Mbappe. Alright, Maldini saves us this time. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so I mean like with explosive meta players it's a little bit hard. Kind of block them, but other than that he's doing a great job so far. Beautiful tackle. Stopping Cristiano Ronaldo. Misses the tackle this time. Nothing there. I thought he'd block it, but uh, couldn't get to it. Nice tackle again, Misak. Misses it there. Um, so that is one more thing I've noticed at times. This is when you're comparing him to the likes of, you know, uh, Saliba and guys like that. Sometimes he kind of um, gets to the ball but doesn't retain the ball well. So pace there, definitely pretty good but definitely not able to catch him. What a tackle that was man, nice chase back. Beautiful tackle again. Uh, okay, he got the ball, but... Yes, I mean, he has 99 strength, but somehow, you know, when, for example, Maldini gets the ball, it's, it's very clear how he, you know, his strength comes into play, right? But for some reason, with Bissek, I'm not able to see that. So you see how Saliba kind of covers that gap and immediately tackles. I don't know if that's because of the anticipate or, you know, I don't know. But that is definitely noticeable when it comes to, uh, you know, um, Bissek. Look at that. See? That is something if... And you know, both are pure Lindy, but for some reason, Saliba's space is definitely a lot more observable in game. So you see what I was saying, what I was telling you there. Again, he he caught the caught on the ball. We've seen like instances from Saliba, right? But and that that kind of conceded uh, because of that, we kind of conceded a goal. So <clears throat> I don't know why that is. But he does tend to lose uh, in terms of keeping the ball a lot of times. Nice pace. But again, in, you know, in terms of positioning like these, anticipate really comes in handy. Because you see how Saliba covers those gaps. Okay, good strength and good pace this time. Very nicely done. What a tackle, man. And he keeps it in too. Okay. That was some pace, man. Beautiful, beautiful work there. Nice. Turn. See, again, he got the ball. Like, he got to the ball, but couldn't retain it. Nice inception there. Beautiful tackle. See, again kind of tackles i don't know why he some somehow he just kind of like doesn't retain the ball i mean this was more of a tackle but uh it was i guess difficult to keep the ball but yeah so this match definitely i felt because he played really well one of the highest ratings in the game because he won a lot of tackles in this match all right, guys, so final verdict on Visek Evolved card. Guys, he's really, really good. Okay, don't get me wrong here. He's probably one of the best, uh, you know, one of the very good defenders I played with. Uh, his presence is definitely there. But when you compare him to the likes of defenders who have very good play styles, like, you know, Varan or um, Saliba or, in fact, Van Dijk too, 
he kind of falls short. I won't say he's better than them. <laughs> he probably is somewhere on their level, but just a little bit down is what I feel. The thing with him is he's very strong. He's very fast when it comes to longer runs. But when I play with Saliba or Maldini, and I, you know, I'm very close to the defender and, and I have to get the ball immediately, that tackling time, he, he has a little bit of time lag in that. One is that. Second is, yes, positioning at times I've felt like he kind of moves forward a little bit. That might be because of the high high. But that was not much of a concern with me. The biggest thing that I felt was a little bit problematic with him was like, I caught the ball a lot of times, but he did not retain it. Sometimes he did not retain it and then kind of, uh, you know, uh, converted that to an opponent's counter attack and we conceded. These are the two things that I felt short, right? One is slight positioning. Second is, uh, you know, immediate tackling and not re retaining the ball. But other than that, he's a fantastic defender, right? If you are upgrading from one of the future star defenders, like the other Pacho or his normal version, definitely is a big upgrade. But if you are trying to upgrade, Evo you know, uh, let, let's say you're trying to replace Evol Saliba or Van Dijk, or Thunderstruck Varan or uh, Maldini, uh, you know, I feel he's, he's a little bit short from them, right? Maybe it takes me time to kind of adapt to his play style because the transitioning movement, just because he's so tall, is a little bit laggy as compared to other six foot tall defenders, right? Like Varan or uh, Saliba and Van Dijk. And the thing with them is also probably their play styles, but Yes, the tackling seems a lot stronger than Pisex tackling. I think because of his strength and physical presence, Pisex has, uh, you know, he, he defends really, really well. But if you compare the play styles, those play styles that the other players have are definitely very important in this game. So finally, like, would I be replacing my uh, Evolve Saliba 87 rated? Probably not. I'm not I'm not gonna lie but this guy will be one of the good players in my team I'm not gonna discard him anytime soon you know maybe Saliba gets a red card or maybe I need him for a chemistry definitely I'm I'm putting him in the team but a first team player probably not as of now and that was my own opinion guys hopefully you like this hopefully this is helpful maybe maybe according to your play style he feels a lot better than what he felt to me but that be it um, if you find this helpful, please like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you next time in another video. Goodbye and cheers.